Hi everyone, so in today's video we're going to talk about neutering and I would say maybe one of the like less common reasons that you might need to neuter. So we have Bran here who is awaiting his neuter and this is Bran. He's a big boy, big stud buck. He's father to litter. He's a very lovely boy but he's a jerk. And because he's a jerk, he needs to lose his balls. I know, I'm sorry man, but you've not behaved yourself. So most commonly you'll hear people talk about um, male rats getting like aggressive, um, hormonally aggressive, and they'll end up um, fighting with their cage mates, causing arguments all the time. Quite often they'll end up doing wounds on the other rats as well. Um, so in Bran's case, Bran didn't actually physically harm the group that he was with. He was, however, an absolutely terrible alpha. And he was using his size to intimidate the rest of the group. So this is also a bad sign. Because the, other, the rest of the group were absolutely terrified of him. Like, I mean, petrified of him. Um, they would hide in the Sputnik, and if he so much as like looked at them, uh, Moss did this god awful high pitched scream, <laughs> like in his face because he was that terrified of Bran coming anywhere near him. I mean, this was you know this was no physical contact; it was literally just staring at him, scared him to the point where he was screaming in fear, and this is obviously not. A healthy relationship to have in a group. The final sort of straw as well for choosing to remove Bran and get him neutered was I'd put the rest of the group into the cage first. I then added Bran last. The other boys scattered. Like they were that terrified I put him in. They all ran in different directions and started climbing the bars of the cage because they wanted to get away from him. So for this reason we are getting him neutered. He's going to get neutered on the 20th. So I thought this video would be helpful to actually chat about a less common reason about, you know, why you, your rat will need neutered. Common reasons will be, as I mentioned, the hormonal aggression where physical damage is done and constant fights are going on. In Bran's case, he's been intimidating the other bucks and that is not a healthy place for him to be and it's not a healthy place for the cage mates to be either. It's very, very bad for them. Um, so what I'm going to do is, can we just do a, I guess a, a neutering journey, um, so to speak. So he's currently living in a fur on his own, um, waiting to lose his manhood. So what I think I'll do is maybe film, you know, like the day of his surgery, how I set up everything, to, you know, to take him in for surgery, his recovery. And he's then going to be living with those after that because it takes quite a while for hormones to calm down. So he could eventually probably go back to living with males, but he'd be alone for quite a while while the hormones calm down. And he's been alone long enough. So I'm thankful that I have both sexes. So I am able to introduce him to females after 10 days because there's no sperm left in him. After 10 days, he is perfectly safe to meet females and not reproduce. So that's what we're going to be doing with Bran. So I'll sort of, I guess like a little mini vlog series, I suppose, talking about Bran's neutering journey. So we'll go through, today we went to why I'm neutering him. We'll go through his operation, his recovery, and then I think I'll even film a bit of him getting introduced to the females. I plan to introduce the two that are down here, we've got Nutmeg and, um, sorry not, not Nutmeg, we've got Nimbus and Saffron. Saffron doesn't like baby rats, <laughs> so she was taken away from the other group that they were in because there was young rats in there and she was very hateful towards them. So the three of these are going to meet my oldest girl group and that'll be pretty much like the 1st of February is the date that we'll be doing that because that'll be, his operation will be over and he'll have had 10 days. So. The 1st of February will be when everybody gets to meet and hopefully they all get along. And that means I've got two more free cages, which is always a great thing. Brian's just gone back to bed again. So yeah, that is, that's it really. That is stage one of 
getting brand neutered is why we're neutering. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.